Peggy, 18. We really want to make sure that there's that contrast between the negative space and then the high tension spikes. You need the exploration, you need the scavenging, you need something to, to say like, okay, I'm setting a certain tone and, and a patina here so that then we can contrast that with some stark like changes. We need the intensity to strike a, a different chord. That only works if you have the negative space to play off of. We wanted you to be forced to make some choices in the world that showed how depleted the resources were. You know the drill, look around, see if there's anything we can use. And we really wanted to give you a reason to go explore this space. It's like, well, you need some supplies that will help you survive another day in this world. Throughout the world, the player finds all sorts of different pieces of items, such as rags, alcohol, bits of broken blades, bindings, and you can combine these together in different ways in order to create items that are useful for surviving in this world. Some items in the recipes require the same combinations of things or the same types of resources, so you have to make this choice, do I want to go offensive with it, do I want to go defensive with it? I can find a bottle of alcohol and some rags and I can create a Molotov cocktail from it that's going to help me take out a couple guys if I use it appropriately. Or I could use those same ingredients and craft a med kit. And that lets me kind of choose if I want to play it more defensively and kind of have items that help me heal myself, or much more aggressively, I want to have items that help me kill and destroy in order to then progress and get out of this area. Molotov and Medkit are not the only ones that have these, these interesting overlaps. You can craft a shiv out of a binding and a blade so that you can sneak up behind somebody and take them out more quickly and more quietly, or can be used to jimmy open locked doors. So you are expending a binding and a blade in the hopes that there's gonna be something awesome on the other side of that door. Or you could craft a melee upgrade. So you might have some nails that you've picked up or a pair of scissors or something. You're gonna be able to use uh, bandages and use these things to attach them to the two by four. So now you've got a more powerful melee weapon. This is something that you're gonna be able to run and take down an enemy with single blow. Alternatively, you can use those same type of nails to make a bomb. This is something you can place in the world and they're going to be able to trigger it. Since resources are limited, you stealth pass an encounter, you're not getting the stuff that was encountered. Not just the stuff off the guys that you would have taken down, but also in terms of what's in the environment for you to scavenge. So it's a, you have to balance that risk versus reward, but it's definitely all a part of the choice. And sometimes the world doesn't give you a choice. Sometimes all the battle breaks out in a way you didn't expect and you have to make decisions, like in the moment. So that's another reason why we did the whole crafting system live. We didn't want the player to have to scroll through a long list of different items. We wanted it to be the absolute minimum amount of button presses. The thing that I hate about any games UI is when it pulls you out of the game for too long. So that, that was a challenge to reduce it all to like that half of a screen. And you wanna see Joel, you wanna see like what's going on around him uh, and be aware of what's happening so you don't have you know, an infected run up on you and start beating on you when you're crafting shivs and stuff. So we needed to make it streamlined and fast enough that you felt like you could take just that moment and be able to craft that thing that's going to mean your survival in the next 30 seconds or your failure to survive. The brutality of the encounters is allowing us to reach into a, a, the tone of the survival aspect of the game. When something comes up in their way, whether it's a human or infected, then Joel and Ellie, you hear them whisper to each other and you see their animations change, everything, their whole demeanor reacts to the scenario in front of them. And that's the same feeling we want you to have when you're holding that joystick. It's just like, oh, okay, what do I have in my inventory? How many are there? Where are they at? Locate them and try to figure out, okay, what are we gonna do?